In this video, I'll show you how to use total points to calculate grades for students in Canvas. We'll be using a simple scenario here for grades, and you can see it here, 10 learning quizzes at 10 points each for 100 points, two projects at 50 points each for 100 points, and five discussions at 10 points each for 50 points for a total possible points of 250. So here's how you would build that out in Canvas. And in this course shell, there's currently nothing built. If I go to my assignments page, there's nothing in here. There's no quizzes yet and there's no discussions. So my recommendation for starting is to create assignment groups for each of these kinds of assignments first. It helps to keep things organized. So since I have quizzes, assignments, and discussions, I'm gonna create assignment groups that correspond to those. So I can even name, rename this one that comes um, built in. I'm going to rename this one to be projects. I'm going to create another group that is discussions and I'll create another group that is what I'm calling learning quizzes. So we had 10 learning quizzes, two projects, and five discussions. So everything that gets created should fit into these assignment groups. Now I can go to my discussions, let's start there, and I'm gonna go out and create my discussions. So we'll be creating five of these, we'll be putting lots of great instructions in there. They're gonna be graded and each of my discussions was 10 points. Here's where I put it in my assignment group, discussions. And I'm gonna hit save. I'll leave the rest of the stuff, dates and so forth, empty for now. So I've got my first discussion. I'm gonna quickly create four more of those. Okay, so I created all five of those discussions, as you can see here. If I go over to assignments, as I was creating those, I was adding them to the discussions group. And so they're also listed over on our assignments page. While I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and create the two projects that my students will be submitting as well. So I'll add an assignment. We'll call this project number one, instructions. It's already set up to be 50 points and it's gonna be assigned to my projects group. I'm gonna hit save. I know I'm going through the assignment settings super fast, but the point of this is really just to show you guys how to set it up for grades. So you can see the project number one is there. Let me go ahead and do another one for, oops, project number two. Same thing, 50 points, projects, and save. And now if we go back to assignments, so I've got two projects, five discussions, and I need to go in and create my quizzes. So I go over to the quizzes tool, hit the plus add quiz button. These are gonna be called learning quizzes. And this is learning quiz number one. Um, it's going into, it's gonna be a graded quiz and it's going into assignment group learning quizzes. Then I can check through the other settings for this quiz. But while I'm here, I better add a question to it. So I'm gonna add a new question. I'll make it an essay question. Um, whatever. And we can make it worth, let's see, 10 points. And I update question and I save. So that was my first of, I should see, a learning quiz number one in there. So let me pause the video and go back and make another whole bunch of those. So just a second. Okay, I created all of those learning quizzes. Each of them are worth 10 points. If we go over to assignments now, we shall see two projects, 50 points each five discussions at 10 points each for 50, and then 10 learning quizzes at 10 points each for another 100 points. So I've created like placeholders, let's call them, for each of these kinds of assignments. Okay, so let's go into the grades tool to see what's happened back there. 
In the Grades tool currently, we see the assignment groups that we created, and we see a total column. If we're using total points, then make sure that this says switch to percent, which means that we're using, I just switched it to percent. Let me switch it to points. Continue. All right, now that's points. And we can pretty much actually here we are good to go. So here we have, let's say the semester begins, right? We start making assignments available to students by publishing them. And that's when we'll start seeing columns appear in the grades tool. So let's do that. Let's pretend it's the middle of the semester. Go to assignments and we have several things that have been published. We'll publish project number one. We'll publish three discussions and we'll publish several learning quizzes. Okay, now when we go to grades, we should see several more columns there. And for my test student, Right now, you can see that the total points is zero, but as I start entering grades for these, let me put in some learning quiz grades. Let me put in, you can see that those are accumulating over in the totals um, uh, column. So I'll also do discussion. Now, if I have um, missed work by the student, one thing to remember in Canvas is that you have to assign a zero for missed work to be counted as missed. So if no grade is there, like the dash, then Canvas thinks it hasn't come due yet and it doesn't penalize the grade. So make sure to enter students, enter zeros for um, students missed work in Canvas. So like if she missed this learning quiz, we'll put a zero there as well. So it looks like we've got 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110 points accumulated. And that's what Canvas is, is summing up as well. So it's automatically accumulating that for me. Go back into assignments and publish the rest of those. We're now at the end of the semester. And let's go to grades. I'll go ahead and enter in several more grades for these. So now she's got grades for everything and the total is 188 points. So if we remember back to the syllabus, 188 points was a C. So if I want that to be displayed, I also need to turn on what Canvas calls grading schemes. So in order to turn that on, I go back to my settings in my course menu. I go down to the course details tab and find grading scheme, check that box. Set grading scheme. Now here's the default grading scheme with A's, pluses, minuses, um, and so forth. Go ahead and say select another scheme. There's one out here from district that's the standard scheme of 90% to 100, 80 to 90, so on and so forth. We're going to click the button that says use this grading standard and hit done. So now I've enabled the course grading scheme. I've selected the course grading scheme. Don't forget to hit update course details on this page. Now when I go back to grades, I shall see test students with the C displayed there. Okay, so that is a very quick overview of how to set up total points in your class in Canvas.